While many churches are downsizing, selling properties, and even moving to smaller venues, why did this congregation in the heart of Texas decide to go bigger? We'll find out on this episode of Blueprint. It's been 16 years since I lived in Texas. As much as I love California, Texas will always have a special place in my heart. That's why I'm really excited to be going to Lubbock, Texas. Let's go. Nicknamed Hub City, Lubbock is the center of exhibits, live music, and theatrical performances in the South Plains region. But most importantly, Lubbock, like many places in the state, is where you can find what I probably miss the most about Texas. Genuine Southern hospitality and charm. Oh, I think so, probably. So we're here in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, this is my first time here. Uh, if you look around, um, pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, it's definitely more of a rural area. Being here, you, you get a, a, a real feel uh, for this, this community. And though this neighborhood has seen better days, it still manages to hold on to the same spirit of kindness and warmth that Texas is known for. It's in this neighborhood that the Church of Christ purchased the 484 capacity building formerly owned by the Central Lubbock Church of Christ. You know, oftentimes in, on TV or even in movies, uh, we don't get to see these communities or, or even these parts of these communities. So it's great to, to be here and be able to talk to some of the neighbors, get their insight uh, some of them have been here since they were kids and even just seeing uh, the presence of, of the, the church being here, it's, it's, it's also, also brought some, a new dynamic to the neighborhood. I met up with Brother Ron Carlos, hey. the resident hey. minister in Lubbock and the fellow Californian. Was this an existing church building or what was it being used for before? Before it was owned by Central uh, Lubbock Church of Christ. Also, it was also a, a, a church of it's Christ. Church of Christ, church yeah. Of Christ. And was it already closed? Like, what was the situation? Were they just trying to sell it, or was it already closed down? It was already closed down. Uh, and they were just looking for a buyer, and we came at the right time, the right place, right time. Very, very low price that they sold it to us for. Oh, wow. And it was a perfect time. I guess God's, God's time. Right? It's, yeah, it's God's timetable. The transformation of the building took six months with the main focus of the renovation on the interior of the main sanctuary. In there, you can find a new beautiful ceiling with distinct INC molding designs that are accented by the all new lighting and chandeliers. The additions continued with a new choir loft and pulpit, complete with all new pews and a new organ. The exterior of the chapel was kept primarily as brick. Some molding design was added at the very front facade of the chapel, as well as a steeple. This is a completely new steeple, which is a typical design element of most INC houses of worship. The seal and nameplate are major additions to the exterior and were ordered from the Philippines, so there's always a consistent design. The only adjustment that's made is the size of the seal and the size of the nameplate. For Lubbock, the seal is five feet in diameter, which is fairly large because it's a very big building. These new additions are a visual announcement that the church has not only arrived in this community, but will be a significant presence in this community. So you, are, you, are you seeing the change just with the presence of, of the congregation here in this neighborhood? A lot of people come by. You know, a lot of they're people curious. come by and they're, yeah, they're curious, they knock on our doors and, and, and they're asking about Bible studies. So it's a, it's a blessing. The House of Worship was dedicated to God on February 27, 2016, in a worship service led by the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ. And as they celebrated the blessing of a new place of worship, the Congregation of Lubbock, one of the smaller congregations in the district, made plans to introduce the INC to even more people. Uh, it's time to expand this locale and get the Word of God out to everybody in this area. There are a lot of religious people here in, in Lubbock. They'll entertain you, uh, they'll, they'll talk to you, they'll, they'll take the invitation, they'll take the card, 
and we can chit chat with them for a while. We just want to get them to come. We just try to befriend them and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, little by little, we start introducing the doctrines through the Bible studies and worship services. And uh, we have worship services on Sundays at 10 in the morning and uh, Wednesday evenings at 8. And you're always welcome to attend since you live so close. Yeah, I'm big, big here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you're always welcome. And bring, bring some friends too, bring your family. Among the first to come see the House of Worship were Dot and Jose Martinez, who have lived in the neighborhood for almost 40 years. Well, the renovation of the church, for one, it's, it's beautiful, it's real pretty. The steeple just added, you know, it's an asset to the community, I think. I've been here 40 years, and never had I seen a church with a steeple in this neighborhood. And you guys coming all around the neighborhood, inviting people, I wish everybody around here would make it their home church. I wish it would just be one whole community. It would be a community church in the neighborhood. One year after reopening the doors to this building, Dot and Jose can be seen crossing 23rd Street to enter the House of Worship, not only as members of the community, but as members of the Church of Christ. It's a beautiful place to worship. It's a beautiful place to worship, and this is where we need to come. I feel like we're blessed to be here, blessed to be accepted here. After I got baptized, now I come earlier into the sanctuary to thank God for the blessing. I didn't used to do that. I used to wait until a little bit before service started to come in, but now I I tell him I'm going in because I have to thank God for his many blessings. Blessings Dot and Joe are taking every opportunity to share as well. We serve an awesome God and I want people to know that God is real. Well, it's been a great short trip here to Texas. I'm definitely going to miss that Southern hospitality, but California ain't that bad. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Blueprint. We're in the end. Everything is part of God's plan. On the next Blueprint, we'll head over to Riverside, California, where the Church of Christ continues to grow.